Good morning. Today is Thursday in the fifth week of Ordinary Time. Our morning prayer will begin on page 512. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Teach us, Lord God, to rejoice in your word, to take it to heart, and to pattern our lives on your love, a love in which bore testimony through the precious blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our hymn this morning is Awake My Soul, found on page 724. Awake my soul, and with the sun, thy daily stage of duty run. Shake off dull sloth, and joyfully rise to pay thy morning sacrifice. Redeem my misfit moments past, and live this day as if thy last. Improve thy talent with due care, for the great day thyself prepare. Let all thy speaking be sincere, thy conscience as the noonday clear. Think how behold thy ways, and all thy secret thoughts surveys. By influence of the light divine, let thine own light to others shine. Reflect all heaven's beauteous rays, and ardent love and cheerful praise. Wake and lift up thyself, my heart, and with the angels bear thy part, who all night long unwearied sing high praise to the eternal King. Our psalm this morning is taken from Psalm 119. Your laws are wonderful. No wonder I obey them. The teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. I pant with expectation, longing for your commands. Come and show me your mercy, as you do for all who love your name. Guide my steps by your word, so I will not be overcome by evil. Ransom me from the oppression of evil people, that I can obey your commandments. Look upon me with love. Teach me your decrees. Rivers of tears gush from my eyes, because people disobey your instructions. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the first letter of Peter. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, truly strong and invincible. May your whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent forth your spirit, and they were formed, for no one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths, at your presence rocks shall melt like wax. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you, but whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. We thirst for you, loving Savior. Unleash your glory and might. Keep us in the shadow of your wings, and satisfy with a rich and bounteous feast. Uphold us with your strong right hand and defend us from the assaults of the evil one. Fill us with laughter that we may harvest your gift of joy. Be for us the bread of life. Be for us salvation's cup. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of power and mind in ancient times, you brought Israel forth from the bondage to settle in a land flowing with milk and honey. In our own day, 
bless our labors and an, with an abundance of your grace, so that in all that we do, the boundless, boundlessness of your blessing and love may be revealed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun into its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>